I'm going to create a stamp based on a picture I find on the internet. So uh, first I'm going to create a new part in SolidWorks. Um, I'm going to select the top plane and click the sketch button. Then I'm going to go up to tools, then sketch tools, and then sketch picture. Um, I've saved a picture of a yin yang to my desktop, so I'll select it and click open. And when it opens, I'm going to roll the mouse wheel to zoom out, and uh, I'm going to use the scale tool here to adjust the size of the image. Um, so I'll drag this over, and of course I can drag it anywhere I'd like, but I'm just going to drag it straight across. Let go, and uh, this image right now is 20, 24 and a half inches wide. I want to make my stamp about 3 inches, so I can hit 3, hit enter, and then either select the button at the top here or press the F button or key on the keyboard to zoom to fit. And then just to get this closer to the origin, I'll click and drag it and I'll zoom in on it to try to get it you know, relatively close to the middle, but I don't have to be perfect. And once I do, I'll click check. Now I'm going to actually create the, uh, the sketch from this picture. So I'm going to select my circle tool here and uh, instead of using a regular circle where I selected the center first, since I didn't get that center perfect, I'm probably not going to make a circle that accurately represents the outline of this uh, image. So alternatively, I'm going to use the three point circle or perimeter circle here and I'll select on the edges of the image and really you can kind of pick any three but I'm zooming in to try to get it as close as possible and you can see that circle is doing a pretty good job and I can do the same thing here with these circles on the inside so there's one There's another. And then, of course, we have this circle here. So I could um, either just offset it from this one or I'll do the same thing and just sort of select three points on this. Okay. Now I'm going to use my spline tool to trace the outline of. Um, this portion here. So I'm just going to continue to click along and try to get as close as possible to the image. Of course, it really doesn't have to be perfect. That should be pretty good. Okay, I'll hit escape to drop the spline tool. And uh, I can go down here and I can write, double click on this and say uh, transparency full image and then just make it 100% transparent and basically hide it. Okay, so now I gotta decide what I wanna do with this geometry. Um, the first thing could be that I want to create the base of the stamp. So I'll click on Features Extrude and I'll select that portion and I'm going to um, just extrude it a tenth of an inch. Now I can go back and press the plus next to the boss extrude that was just generated and select the sketch again and extrude a new part of the sketch and in the selected contours I should be able to select individual portions of the sketch to extrude. So I'll do that and I'll do this circle and I'll say how about uh, 0.2. Okay. And uh, now the last thing would be to Put a 
handle on this. So I can just do a very simple handle if I'd like. Um, and we'll use the geometry of the circle, not the origin here, since we didn't actually line the sketch picture up perfectly. I'm going to move my mouse to the outline, and you can see the dot that appears in the middle. Now I can use that, and I'll dimension this to say, I don't know, one inch. Exit sketch, extrude, and I'll make that about maybe an inch tall. And now we've got a handle. Um, there's other ways to make this thing look a little nicer. Um, but that's the, the general way to go from uh, an image you just download off the internet to a, a 3D model that you could print.